Sagittarius, welcome to your general love reading. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Sagittarius placement that is relevant to you, there may be messages that will also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will be linked to listed. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Sagittarius, we're getting straight to the point here. Love, romance, energy surrounding Sagittarius coming towards them. Whoever is on their mind, what else do they need to know? Two of Cups is your first card out. So, I mean, for a love reading, that's great energy. You definitely, I, I definitely see a partnership here with you and somebody. Um, could be in the past. For some of you, this partnership could have ended or there's some sort of transformation that's getting ready to happen here. Two major arcana so far, three major arcana. So, bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. Okay, so we have two twos here. Twos could be significant. You could be seeing that a lot. 22 could also be an important uh, number for you or date. But we have three major arcana here. Two of cups and the six of wands tells me that there was some sort of connection that you had with somebody that was absolutely no doubt mutual. That both of you felt this connection. The two of cups is a mutual connection between two people. Two people that are very aware that there is something deeper. There's some sort of connection. There's some sort of bond. With the six of wands, it's a sense of victory. Both of you felt really good to find each other, to have someone to 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 it was you both of you felt like the connection was going somewhere it's the vibe that i'm getting with the six of wands is usually um victory overcoming any sort of strife overcoming any sort of conflict drama maybe from the past and feeling very um lucky is the vibe that i'm getting here with the death card major arcana the strength card major arcana could be dealing with a scorpio or a leo i do get that there's some sort of transformation that this connection is getting ready to undertake Maybe the two of you have been fighting in the past or you're leaving a phase of maybe not seeing eye to eye because maybe the realization is, is that this connection is worth fighting for. It is worth putting in the effort for. And the both of you want to succeed. The both of you do absolutely want the connection to succeed, willing to do, I think, what it takes in order to move forward here. Both these depictions of movement forward with the death card and the six of, six of wands. Let's move her over just a bit. And the strength card tells me that, it, that there are definitely some sort of overcoming that is getting ready to happen here. Whatever state the connection has been in, if there has been conflict, if there has been fighting, not seeing eye to eye, drama in any sort of way, that looks like it's getting ready to come to an end here. With the three of pentacles and the star card, major arcana for Aquarius in your future energy, this, this confirms that the both of you want this to work. The both of you want to heal whatever sort of issues that might have been there before. The both of you want to put in the time, the dedication. The both of you want to cooperate. Because there is healing. There is This is some sort of wish fulfillment for the both of you. The both of you want to see this succeed. You want this to work. And whatever sort of um, courage it's going to take to do that, I do think the both of you are willing to do that here. I don't see any particular suits. So this very much tells me this is like the general energy between the both of you, especially with the Two of Cups being your first card out. This tells me that this is how the both of you are feeling because there's no particular person showing up here. Just energy, energy of healing, energy of transformation. Maybe an ending was required in order for this to be seen on both of your behalves. An energy of overcoming, putting maybe pride to the side as well with this Leo energy. Strength card. Willing to put the pride to the side in order to heal something because clearly something is uh, ideal here. And we do see the two of swords. So this tells me that in the past there was some sort of misalignment. Definitely some sort of misalignment here in the past. One of you was maybe closed off even though the connection was felt. But I do think this two of swords is what is getting ready to be transformed. What, what is getting ready to be overcome and, and um, move past. I also see the King of Wands here. He could be dealing with a fire sign, someone that is getting ready to take action. Someone that sees what they want and they go to get it. Whatever, there's that action. Whatever is needed, this person is willing to do. And I also see the Page of Cups here, which could be an apology, Pisces energy. But this is definitely sort of like that sweet, you know, uh, olive branch. 
For some of you, it absolutely is an apology, especially if you're dealing with someone that was sort of closed off before. Maybe a little bit of avoiding their feelings here when the feelings are very clearly here. But I do get there's an overcoming. We're not we're not holding back anymore. Because this is clearly something that both of you very much want. And whoever was sort of denying it in the past, they're not they're not doing that anymore. I see the Ace of Swords here, which is victory, more energy of victory, truth. Clearly, there could be a conversation that needs to happen. This is also a now card. And this is also a yes card. And I do see the Nine of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles. Someone sees you as very loving. Someone sees you as very kind. And someone is very clear, once again, that this is where they want to be. With the King of Swords here, more also um, communication, information, energy. This person has something to say to you. I do think it could be an apology here. And it looks like they have an offer too. Whatever this offer is though, it has a potential to, to, to be long-term. We have the Nine of Pentacles, which I do get is finally your energy. Very sufficient, very independent, very much a catch. And that ace that this person is offer, whatever it is that they're about to give you here, is going to sort of be solid, something that can last long term, something that can be built on. Definitely could be marriage for some of you. Definitely could be marriage. But this is beautiful energy. I also saw the um, judgment card here. So I do get there might have been a rift. And maybe you chose to sort of separate yourself from this person coming up as the Nine of Pentacles. There was a choice to move away because you clearly saw that this person was not on the same openness as you were. As much as you knew they felt the connection. You know? So some of you are definitely going up from single to not being single. Very much a connection coming in for two of you here. The Ace of Pentacles could represent that offer of commitment. Also could be an engagement ring. Could literally be a gift too, especially with the Page of Cups. But I don't think uh, your soloness is going to be a thing for much longer. Let's get the oracles for you. See what they got to say, Sagittarius. Yeah, separation at the bottom of the deck. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I do think that this is passing energy. It does seem like you're coming out of separation with someone. Okay, what do you have for Sagittarius, please? Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. Wedding. <laughs> This situation involves a marriage. As I said, some of you, this is absolutely someone that you're going to be potentially spending a very long time with, at least. If it's not marriage for all of you, because not all of us want marriage. But with the nine, with the ace, and the two of cups, the six of wands could also be reception energy. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So, definitely going to be a talk. Get ready. Because there is going to be a talk. Someone is very clear. If they weren't clear before, there's a bit of hesitation. That is no longer a thing. Because they're seeing that you're very confident. You could do with them or you could do without them. Coming as the, as the Nine of Pentacles. They very much see that if they don't make that move, someone else will. If they don't smarten up, someone's going to be smart. What do we have for Sag? The first time around. But I do get there was a bit of a break period between the two of you guys. Looks like it did you, it did you guys good though. Adjustments are required. Communication is key. New Moon and Gemini. We are officially in Gemini season. Post retrograde. So absolutely things can move forward now. That could have also been what was kind of having someone in a not sure energy. That retrograde energy could have had someone a bit, you know, stagnant. Guidance for Sagittarius, please. Oops. Okay. Lumira, creating heaven on earth. It's happening. So you do want this to happen. If you don't want anybody, then this is probably not your reading. But this is for those of you that there is someone that's... I mean, the connection is undeniable. But there was a bit of hesitation that you sensed. So your first instinct is to pull away, right? But that was looks like it was the right thing to do. You allowed this person to have the space to kind of get their mind right. And it looks like they're about to pursue you. King of Wands is a pursuer. Kind of like a chase energy. But heavy, heavy um, um, evidence of uh, a talk, at the very least. What you choose to do with it, that's your business. We have Grasshopper Spirit, time, no, take a leap of faith, number 30. Take a leap of faith, yeah, someone's ready. Someone's ready to leap, what else? Let's get rid of one of these. Someone's ready to leap, Sag. 
could be you. You could be this absolutely this fire sign as well. But I do get you're coming in as the Nine of Pentacles. Obviously, you know your story. Put yourself where you fit. But someone knows that they need to fix some things and they're willing to do it. They're willing to do it. You can either worry or believe in yourself. Guess which one feels better. I get this is for whoever's in this sort of, that was in this sort of hesitation energy. And choose you every time. And I definitely think that is for you. Whoever's coming in as the Knight of Pentacles. Someone chose themselves. Regardless of how much love was in between the two of you. And someone's done being worried. Because they see you have a lot of respect for yourself. So that almost made them respect you more. All right, Sagittarius, that is your reading. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment. Do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.